it so it seems very, very easy. So we have this expression, and what they want us to do is they want us to put it in standard form, right? Standard form is A plus BI. Well, we have an issue because we have an I cubed and we have an I squared. So we just don't have one I, we have multiple I's. So we need to first remember what does I represent? And our definition of I was we can't take the square root of a negative number, so we're going to have I equals the square root of negative 1, right? Well, if I equals the square root of negative 1, what does I squared equal and what does I cubed equal? So the way that we always go through it is, you know, you say I is equal to the square root of negative 1. If I multiply by I on both sides, well, instead of multiplying by I, I can multiply by square root of negative 1 again. So this becomes I squared equals square root of negative 1 times square root of negative 1 is the square root of negative 1 squared. Right? Right. So, well, it just becomes, it just becomes negative 1, right? Those cancel out. So I squared equals negative 1. Do you believe me on that? Okay. Oh, just, just say, I mean, you know, some people think math textbooks sometimes lie too. So then, if I want to find out, that's what I squared is. So let's just rewrite I squared. So we know I squared is negative 1. Then, if I was going to multiply that again by I, if you multiply that again by I, I squared times I is going to give you I cubed, right? And what's I times negative 1? Negative i, right? So you get i cubed equals one. negative i. Negative one times i will give you just negative one times x will give you negative x, right? Yeah. Negative one times i can give you negative i. Then if you multiply that again by i, you get i to the fourth equals negative i squared. Well, i squared is negative one. A negative negative one will give you a positive one. So i cubed equals negative i, and i to the fourth equals 1. So what I do here is I'm just going to rewrite these. Instead of using i cubed and i squared, I need to get it in this form. So I'm going to write negative 6. Instead of writing i cubed, we know i cubed is the same thing as negative i, plus i squared, which is the same thing as negative 1. And now, just by doing that, I only have now 1i, and I can write this non-standard form. Negative 1 plus 6i. And the two it, negatives cancel out. Uh, so that's how it'd be in standard form. Make sense? Yeah. Easier? That's the, that's the answer? That's the answer. Ooh. Is it? Yeah, it just says write the complex and write it in standard form. So we need to simplify and write in standard form.